some six by six cedar and we need to make it into a pretty cool timber frame. I am just checking the dimensions of these posts. Okay, so what I gotta do is this is gonna be my bottom cord. I gotta cut this down to exactly 16 feet with a 45 on each end. Measure from this end to this end, 16 foot. Make another 45 degree cut. That's good. Okay. All right, we're gonna find the middle of this beam, which should be eight foot. But what we're gonna do is double check that. It could be a 16th one way or the other, depending on this miter. Or in this case, it's exactly eight foot. What I can do is three and nine sixteenths on both ends. That is where my top cord will start. And I'll get into why I'm starting it in three and nine sixteenths. And it will definitely make more sense when we go to install this and finish it off. Now what I gotta do is figure out the pitch cuts and the dimensions of my top cord. What we've got is eight foot center to center minus three inch nine sixteenths. Seven, eight and seven sixteenths is my overall run. Now I'm gonna put in my six inch pitch. We're gonna have a rod three foot, 10 and a quarter, eight foot seven, three eighths diagonal. So now what I gotta do is find out which side I'm gonna cut of these, get my reverse six inch pitch. So that's gonna be a nice long angle and that's where I'll use the Martinez square. Uh, perfect for that sort of stuff. Get that cut and then I'll do my pitch cut at the peak where the two top cords are gonna come together. I think I want this to be my top because it's got a slight amber to it. This is the way I want it to go, just like that. What I need to do is set up my pitch, and for a 612, I can either go 6 and 12, which is a ratio of 1 to 2, or I can maximize this and put it at 20 and 10. Do you see what I did there? I'm just maximizing my square using the same ratio as 6 and 12, but increasing it. So now I've got my 612 pitch. So first what we're gonna do is cut this cut here, which will be probably the trickiest cut just because it's a long cut. And I do wish I had a track saw. I have faith in my ability to cut that. But I think what we'll do is we'll flip it around and I'll cut off at this side where my saw is. of wood here to stop from going past this point. This is exactly where I want it to go. Hmm, okay, I like that. We need to do our diagonal, which is eight foot seven and three eighths of an inch. That is another 612 pitch. should be right here. Now it's kind of hard to, to say exactly, but pretty close. We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep moving forward. The 
is going to be a little tricky with one guy. Here's what I need to do. I need to give myself my center line. This could go so bad. Holy cow. Oh, <laughs> that's actually looking pretty dang good. That is looking pretty dang good. Holy cow. That's pretty cool. Now what I gotta do is, I'm gonna have another board that's gonna come in here at like a 45. And this angle here is not gonna be straight. It's gonna have a pitch because this is not 45 degrees. So if this top cord was coming up at a 45 degree angle, not a 612 pitch, then this would be a 45, double 45 at the bottom, and it would be flat in at the top. However, if you can see, that doesn't work. Remember, all triangles add up to 180 degrees, right? So up here, we know this degree because this is a 612 pitch. When I put this in here, this is gonna be 45 degrees, okay? We know that. This is gonna be 90 minus 26.57. So 63.43 degrees plus 45 equals 108.43, which means if I take 180 minus 108.43, that equals 71.57 degrees. But we're gonna take the opposite of that which is 90 minus 71.57, and that equals an 18.43, or otherwise known as a 412 pitch. Now what I need to do is find out this exact dimension it's supposed to be so that I can get it cut exactly how I want it to be cut. Go ahead. Got it? Yes. Yeah. good here okay I think I think we go ahead and get it all the outsides all screwed together then we could probably screw this together yeah put even probably screw down I, I, I know this uh, yeah te like temporary screw it through yeah and then put the tube going in maybe like yeah okay I think I'm gonna come in yeah Got a pencil? Yeah, we'll just hold that there. Let me grab a pencil. I'm just gonna make a line. Good. Looks like it. Let's change that. Clutched. I didn't. Dude, those would be sick, like screwing in stuff. Yeah. Like roofs. I think that's some torque. Damn. This is the new Bosch 18 volt flexi click GSR 18V. Check out the torque on this bad boy. These are six inch GRK lags. No pre-drill. What do you need? Well, definitely gonna need something because this is uh, this is pretty tweak. I don't know. 
So you need to rock your way? No, I think we're okay, don't you? That's not bad. Should I regular GRK? I, I would probably run. regular GRK and get this together group and then send these bad boys through the top. Well, I'm gonna get bigger ones. Or, yeah. Because those are only six inches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's what I need um, let's swap out this. Get, and I'm gonna take this clamp. I'm gonna clamp this guy together together because I need a little bit of a twist, I think. So you got just a. That can always, that's pretty damn good. That's pretty, yeah, pretty good. Okay. Yikes. Whoop! You're gonna have to hit that like close to the edge. Would you say there? Yeah, I would say about there. Put that 12 inches in, like. Yeah, it only like, like two seconds. It's not a bad little drill. No, it's not. Yeah, I like it. For a second, it took me a second there to figure out like what what drill that was. Mm -hmm. So what's cool is I can leave this on. Yep. Take that. Them out so don't want to over screw these. Now, this is gonna be nice, dude. Yeah, not bad for our first one. Yeah, literally, first one. <laughs> yeah, it ain't a joke. <laughs> Well, go ahead and go further, and then when it goes in, it's just gonna, yep, just like that. Okay. And clamp it. I mean, this ain't moving once you get the groove in. Like yep. right there? Go ahead. Look at that. Freaking gorgeous. Okay, that's two speed. We really need that torque. That is pretty impressive. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and try another one. Wow. Okay. That, my friend, is that. Now, the question is, how heavy is it? That's not bad, dude. No. 
You don't know how to carry it, though. I didn't know what you were doing. I didn't know you were rotating it. I thought 